guys i'm gonna hi hello this is your dada dr amit and i have uh, coach ganesh srinivasan and uh, chaya ma'am also with me and uh, chaya ma'am came with a kind of an amazing question and i thought of giving a quick uh, recording and a small story about it chaya ma'am what was your problem can you tell me once again uh, means uh, usually i give 100% whatever work i do one work i'll give the 100% mm -hmm. but uh, from just uh, last week i am not able to concentrate and concentrate 100% my mind is going somewhere and my mm. mind is getting blocked mm. my mind is not ready to accept some of the things mm. this all drama means so much mm. drama it is doing what is the major thing for me oh. it may be my wrong or uh, i am taking the things in wrong or my uh, attitude has gone wrong or uh, the way of thinking has gone wrong this all things okay um can i share a small story okay this story yes. is of my father um uh, around 3 4 years back before con you know this is this uh, covid and pandemic and all these things uh my father got i don't know what but every day evening exactly at 6:30 7 o'clock he will get fever every day okay and we went with uh, our family doctor we couldn't find anything we did all the diagnostics nothing happened this went on for months every day evening his fever temperature will be somewhere around 100 to fahrenheit okay that is a tough thing and uh, all every tests was coming normal and we were not able to find out what exactly was the problem and then we took him to chennai chennai apollo okay and we also planned to go for velour runs but at that point of time when he went to chennai also they also did all the tests but every day while he was traveling also he had this chill shivers and uh, other time he is okay he is fine it went to almost 3 months and 3 months is not a joke please understand this every day evening if you get a fever like this and the fever will be like staying for around 1 hour 1 and a half hours max and then suddenly he will get a uh kind of perspirations and all and it will go out even if there is no medication also the fever is to go out but at that point of time he will be completely discharged of energy and all these things and this kind of sudden things was something which was very uncommon so even i started to study all these things even my uncle was there you know he started to study and uh, in chennai also we went to chennai multiple different locations we could not get a remedy out of it and uh, i'm telling you why i'm coming to direct to you and at that point of time i was just doing a prayer that and i was wishing that my father should have some problem are you getting my point i was is it's more than like so many months now after all the diagnostics first time i was i was wishing that this person should get some disease are getting me have you ever seen a son praying god so that there is a disease in his father i was praying that at least give me some clue if i do not know the disease how can i take him to a new place which doctor i don't know did you did you find the problem but in your case i think you have at least found out the problem that you are getting distracted you have a mind issue or probably you have got anything at least you know that now let us go deeper into all these things so here is a technique that i use and probably coach you can also put your thoughts into this okay so make a page with two different you know part left side and right side okay and sit probably for some time and when you sit there you switch off all your distractions for at least 5 10 minutes okay left side you write down what you need right now what all things you need you make a note of this because that is something that going to keep your distraction out for at least 10 minutes so try making at least like 10 to 15 points the by the way you go into 10th point you will have a you know a problem because the more give you give numbers the more mind will starts to empty itself so once you write it down and fold it in a nice paper or something or keep it aside because that is all your distractions right now then that page that you have which was given left side and right side left side you write it down what is that thing that you want 
right now today out of all the lists that we have done. Okay, and why it is important? Is something that we have to give the reason on the right hand side. Is it helping you? The things right now, let's assume that uh, money is a problem for me, right? Let's assume this, okay? Then what are the 10 things are there in my list, which is just my time waste, and it is not giving me money right now. I should not do that, yes or no? Okay, so this is the same thing is used in medical senses, okay? At the time of emergency, they've tried to treat only the things which is an acute pain, not the problem. They will treat you the pain first, do you know that? Okay, so if you can't replace the tire, at least go for the puncture repair. Okay, so find out what is the puncture repair for you right now. At least you get that first aid. So if money now is a problem, let's say, then find out that entire list of things that you have written. Is anyone connected to money now? No, then you scrap it up and find out what you can do over there. So this is where I think you can divert. Again, I'm telling you is, uh, Mind diversion happens only when there is no hunger. People, you know, they say the failures are have two reasons, will problem and skill problem. According to me, there is no skill problem. There is no divergent problem or thinking problem. It is your hunger. If you are hungry enough right now, let's say if it is hunger, then you will eat something which is there. So find out what is there for you to eat right now. Figure it out. Get to that point and then list out that one thing that you want to do. Put a timing to it, see the volume, and then you divide that into bifurcation. Yeah, coach, you can take it over. Yeah, I think you have the clarity right now. Yeah, you can unmute. Chai. So that's the beauty of uh, yes. Dada, as you rightly pointed out. Okay. All right. So with that, let me pause this recording and I hope, uh, how do you feel now? Did you get a clarity here? Actually, uh, means now uh, my heart is beating in a much, much normal because hypertension it was, uh, means without my conscious, it was doing that. Okay. So uh, I think the best thing is when you write, it is a three-way communication. You are thinking and then it goes to your hands. That is called kinesthetics. Okay, that's the programming of your hand. And third thing is you are revising it. When you are writing it, you are seeing it. Actually, there is a fourth thing. You become a trigger. Whatever you have written, that becomes a trigger also because this is what you have to do. So when you write it down, okay, this is the work I have to do. So your brain thinks, okay, I have written it down. I don't have to remind it again and again and again. So you don't get into that anxiety mode. So when you, read it, you know it is there. It's there. I'll open it. I have the list. Don't worry. I will not forget. I know the sequence. I know the process. I know the priority. So I think this is a real-time case study which is happening right now, which I am awesome, and uh, I hope I was able to serve you. Really, really, because I have a fear of failure. Yeah, yeah. Because so, so many people are inspired by me, but I know what is my situation. Hmm. So I have one more thing to give it to you. Yeah. Fear of failure is failure. Any kind of fear is because of ignorance. It's, it's like you do not know what is the future. It's because of ignorance, any fear. Okay, I do not know this, what will happen? So every fear is about what will happen. Okay, so how do you tame it up is, what if, if it is not a failure, what is the other side of it? What is the success? So, okay, if I fail, that is fear. So another thing is, every, Every fear, when you start enjoying, it becomes an adventure. Every fear, right? So I want you to look at this, like if you don't fail and if you have chances of 1% also winning, how is that life gonna be? How is that success going to be? How is the people gonna be around you? And how your future is gonna be with that? So this only happens when you shift your gear up and I say, okay, Let's look at the other side of it. It is not easy. It will take some time. And uh, that is only possible only when you are open to learn that this is failure. This can put all these bad things. But this is positive also. This can go on. The, every fear is a learning process also. And in between your fear and success lies implementation. Right? 
So with that, let me pause today's recording out here. I hope you have uh, got a clarity. Yes, and I will see you in the next chapter. Or we, I can see, sense it. Yes, something is. That is more important. I can, my body is also reacting for that. Yeah, good. So now you see, there is a cleaning happening around me. Yeah. So you have to have cleaning around your your mind. <laughs> correct, awesome. correct. Nice. So uh, I think we are, we are using all the things which is there to create such kind of amazing video. Uh, exactly. People who are watching this video, I don't know from which all place, and if you're getting distracted, you have to understand this is an example. Listen to my voice or you are watching the distractions here. Focus. Okay. This is where is the difference. Did you see that? I think the right timing was there. There was a distraction here. Did you see the distraction? So this is how you go into the focus mode. Whatever it takes, focus. Okay. And it is all dependent upon how much you are deeply connected. With that, let me pause the recording here. I'll see you in the next video.